There are 44 names out here on this memorial. Two of them are the Davises, a 25-year-old mother and her seven-year-old daughter. Today, I spoke to her other daughter with one of the most remarkable stories you'll ever hear. And he said, well, a tornado just wiped out everything between Martin City and Ruskin Heights. 71 miles of a half mile wide F5 tornado. Donna Davis's home was badly damaged. From our house, it went straight over to Ruskin Heights and tore it up terribly. And like one car was thrown up on the tower. That car was a 55 Chevy. No one could tell from the mangled mess, but Bobby Davis knows because she was inside. She says her father decided to try to outrun the tornado heading for their home. The tornado moved direction and caught us and proceeded to lift the car up into the water tower. Her mother, Cornelia, was found inside the car. Her seven-year-old sister, Catherine, didn't survive either. All I remember is his forearm leaning in the back of the seat saying, put this blanket around you. And they found my sister with the blanket around her um, over by the high school. But Bobby Davis has been told she's the little girl they found trapped in the catwalks of the water tower. She spent her fourth birthday in the hospital, but recovered. Feel lucky. I feel one of my models in life was I survived the biggest act of God. I can survive anything that man gives me here on earth. She says her father always regretted the decision to try to outrun the biggest storm the area has ever seen. Their home ended up only losing a few shingles, but more than 500 people were injured and 44 people were killed. With better warnings and science today, Bobby Davis has this message. When a warning comes, they need to take, take it serious. This memorial out here was dedicated the first year after that tragedy been improved over the years. It's right in front of Ruskin High School. If you'd ever like to come out here and pay your respects or just learn about one of the worst tornadoes in modern U.S. history. Dave DeMarco, Fox 4 News.